Hello gang, Redbeard here. I'm going to do a tutorial today to show you how to animate the skeleton from this fantastic room. Um, so, here we go. It'll be pretty easy. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is just clone this awesome skeleton. Uh, we're going to go up here because we're going to have him swinging from this bar. Alright. First thing you need to do is edit the position of the skeleton. He doesn't swing in that position. So what we're going to do is put the arms up and then put the legs back and then we'll animate the whole thing. Um, and then we'll hang them from this bar here. Uh, that way you can kind of see how it works. It's pretty easy. All right, first thing we do, edit. Uh, we're going to use the select tool and then we're going to do what's called painting select. Uh, and that's the start on an object and then just kind of keep the trigger pulled while you select all the pieces you want. And then we move that to an upward position. I like to have them kind of back. I think if, if you're hanging and looking down, your arms are going to be behind you. We'll kind of rotate that up a little bit. Okay. We'll deselect these parts. Move this a little bit, a little bit less. Hey, I'll show you a trick with the hands as well to get those lined up real nice. This is probably the slowest part, so uh, just hang in there, and we'll get to the circuits in a minute. All right, now we're going to do this next piece. Uh, a quick little tip about this painting select. Uh, if you decide, whoops, I don't want any of this stuff, you can just uh, point anywhere, pull the trigger, and it'll deselect everything. Uh, for the longest time, I thought you had to repaint uh, all the parts, and that was incredibly time-consuming. So, don't need to do that. Oh, we missed an elbow. Let's use the fancy uh, undo move, and then make sure we select that as well. Thank you, devs, for creating the undo move, by the way. All right, let's uh, make the arms a little bit more um, interesting than just uh, straight out. And I, I highly recommend this. If you're using somebody else's invention, um, edit it. You know, make it your own. Add a little bit of change to it, uh, so it's not just a duplicate. And you're trying to make your room cooler. Uh, just you know, add add your own bit to it. Okay, with that, um, I'm gonna rotate the head so it's looking down. So we're just gonna paint all these little teeth. And I'm going to grab uh, this piece. And just kind of make him look down a little bit more. It'll make more sense uh, when he's when he's swinging. It'll look cooler. Actually, let's do that. We'll select this bit of the spine as well. You can you can work your way down the whole spine if you really want it to look like he's leaning forward. Um, but I don't I don't think he needs that. He's actually pretty good there. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh, he's got his face in his chest. Let's fix that There we go Cool Okay, so now we're gonna move is his legs All his little toes now the key we're trying to do is keep this hip connected, so I'm just going to put that right where I got it. Now one thing I like is this, his hips rotated just a little bit, so I'm going to move this so it's, so that this angle is different uh, than what it originally was. Just gives it a little more look to it when it's rotating. And we'll just bring this one down. Oops. And all these little parts. Okay, now because we rotated that hip, remember we got to move this leg up a little bit. Uh, and because the hips are rotated, the knees are going to come out a little bit. It's a little more natural. We can keep that leg in, it'll look kind of cool. Okay. So, 
I didn't keep these all aligned perfectly because it gives it a nice um, perspective. Or, um, yeah, I forget what the word's called. Anyway, um, so it gives it a nice kind of uh, uh, difference. So it's not perfectly straight, which looks weird. Profile, that's the word. Okay, so the profile looks better when the legs aren't aren't uh, identical to each other. Okay, we're going to done edit that. So the next trick um, is to create some gizmos. So we need three rotators, one for the hands and one for each hip. And then we're going to rotate these, make them snap to 90. There we go. And just move those ish. Okay, so now let's try to get that really lined up nice. Let's create a um, a cylinder. I can just keep something long but relatively uh, round. Yeah, that'll do. Love that uh, rec room orange. Okay. Now what you want to do is line that up with this post. Okay, and we're going to clone this twice. One for each hip. While we're here, let's uh, wire that to, um, it doesn't matter, let's do the post. Move each of these down here. Yeah, we'll fix that. Okay, so what this is going to do is give us a consistent line across his hips, uh, which will give us uh, an awesome way to to visualize the rotation point. The piston, for instance, uh, gives us a pretty cool green line that you can just follow. Um, and I've used pistons for this, just stack a piston and a rotator. Uh, but this seems to work really, really well. Cool. Okay, so let's move our skeleton. Yeah, get out of here. Yep. So he's hanging on this rod. Now, what I'm aiming for is to get this this corner of his hand uh, just right on both sides because that's more of a natural hang point of, of uh, contact I'm going to rotate him down a little bit okay now we're going to edit and just move a couple things around so it looks looks a little more normal. Yeah. That's better. This is where Patience will pay off. That looks pretty good. So this will give us a cool opportunity to rotate him a little bit. Uh, done. Looking good. All right. Remove this one. Okay. So the reason we put these bars on here is so that the bottom of this bar can line up with his hip, right? Because that's that's the actual pivot point. You know, in reality, these are ball sockets, so they rotate whatever you want. Um, but for this, it, it looks better if they're rotated. 
together, right? And we'll put this one in here as well. Get them relatively close. There we go. Okay, and then we can just delete these parts. Okay, now the fun part. We're going to break them up into three pieces. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to hit edit. And all I want is this left leg. So if you hit select, this is a fast way to delete things. Because you can just select all the parts you want. Get all those little teeth. Each rib. And I'm not going to get everything, but now you hit delete, the whole thing goes away. Pretty cool. Okay, done. Okay, this one we want the other leg. So edit, select. Making sure I get all the little parts that I don't want. Done. Okay, now I'm going to move these. I'm keeping this guy all together. I'm going to put these in place. And essentially, you just want to get them close. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, the key is that this hip is, that, that the uh, hip, uh, hip is in the right spot. So we're just going to get the lined up nice. There we go. Why is that off? That's odd. Oh, because I, yeah. Okay, that was odd because when I cloned this guy, I turned, which rotated him a little bit. As opposed to just moving it, I turned it, which caused a rotate and made that wonky. Okay. Now we don't need those legs. We're going to go select to get. Make sure you get all the parts. Oops. The next leg. Looks like I got that lined up really, really well. That's impressive for me. Okay, delete, done. All right, pretty cool. So now we have a body and separate legs and then uh, gizmos for each one. So let's wire these up. This is where it gets fun. So we go gadget. So to do this, you need a wave chip uh, and you need a variable. The variable, we're gonna put R is five, G is three, and B is 3 as well. Now, uh, stick these all together. That's it. Pretty basic. Okay, so credit where credit to do. The sine wave, uh, along with the X, making this swing is something I got from the tree that gave us that. So let's uh, turn on play gizmo. So see how that swing came from the tree? Uh, um, template that Marisa created. Um, so that's that's where I got that. I just stole all of that. So credit where credit's due. Now we just wire everything up. I'm going to turn off play gizmos uh, so this stuff doesn't just start working on us. Okay. The wave will go to the green, which is its speed and ro of rotation. And then R will go over here to the red, which basically just turns it on. And we'll do the same for each of these. Okay. Now, how do we get the legs to swing with the body, but also independent of them themselves? So the way you do that is you attach this leg to the post and this leg to that post. So now the legs are going to swing. But you want them to swing and sway with the body. So what we do with that 
is we take the body of the gizmo and go to the post of this one. And then we're going to connect the uh, upper body to that post as well. Okay, so what's happening here? Let's hit play. Pretty cool. These legs are going a little bit different. This one's hard to see because it's rotating uh, the opposite direction as the body, but you can see uh, it basically looks like it's holding still, um, but it's not. It's actually swaying, rotating. So here's what's happening. Uh, the body is rotating with this circuit, and each leg is rotating with those circuits, but each leg's uh, rotator is also connected to this one, which then keeps them in line with their position. It's pretty clever. All right, so let's turn that off. And we're going to move this whole thing down to this uh, beam. And to do that, you take the parent gizmo. So they're all connected together. We're just going to line it up there. But here's the problem if we do that. This post is really thick, uh, so it's going to look like he's hitting his head on it. So we can do two things. We can edit the post, which I don't want to do because we have to edit that one and those. It's a pain. So what I'm going to do is just lower this to something like that. So it's cheating, but when you get all the way down here, you're not going to be able to tell. See? Looks like he's up there. So let's hide gizmos and hit play. Now it looks like he's swinging. Pretty cool, huh? And that's all just from this one prop. You can do that with all of the props here. You could animate the nice robot, you can animate the tree, you can animate the monkey, anything you want to do. But there we go.